Well, this was unexpected. It looks like we've gotten our first look slash leak at the 2022 Wave 3 Voyagers. And I was pretty excited for this wave. And when I saw this, I was kind of disappointed with the final product. So yeah, if you didn't know, Wave 3 consists of two Voyagers. Um, one from the Bumblebee movie and one from Age of Extinction. So yeah, we've got our first look at Age of Extinction Galvatron. And this is a whole new mode and I'm honestly kind of disappointed. This was my most anticipated pick figure of the of the year and second to studio series hot rod uh from the, the last night but yeah i was very excited to see this guy and when i finally saw it i was kind of disappointed um i mean when you compare it to the studio with the original age of extinction figure there's some major differences for one the age of extinction had a big backpack and this one is kind of small um but yeah, the, the figure was just a, a shelf warmer, basically, the original Age of Extinction one. This one, it, it seems like there's some uh, transformation involved. I think the 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 front part of the, the chest is the front part of the, the truck. But yeah, when you look at the alt mode, it's kind of a mess in the back area. Especially when you consider how clean the Age of Extinction one looked. So yeah, and when it comes to one one accessory, and that is that that cannon that that he had in the movie. I kind of wish he had the blade that he used to chop a car in half. But otherwise, I'm still excited for this figure. Um, it does look like he has a lot of paint on him, which is cool because the uh, extension figure didn't have any paint. Like it was just blue and. The, the alt mode was painted, I think, if I remember correctly. I've messed with that figure in a while, so yeah. So yeah, in terms of articulation, they look pretty much the same, except the Age of Extinction one didn't have a waist swivel, so that's kind of exciting to see on this guy. So yeah, that's enough for Age of Extinction Galvatron. Very excited for this. I'm going to pre-order this one. I'm, I'm definitely going to get this day one um, whenever I can. So yeah. And the next figure that was revealed was Studio Series Thundercracker from the Bumblebee movie. And yep, this is basically a Studio Series movie Starscream slash Thrust mode repainted in blue. So yeah, it's nothing else. Like, it's pretty much what I expected. That's that's pretty much it. I, I, I was kind of expecting the... The Starstream head on this guy, but he has a Blitzwing head, so kind of surprised, but not surprised because it's, I remembered when I saw this. I remember, oh, I remember he the Starstream was the only one with the unique head, so uh, it, it kind of surprised me. But then I remembered that Starstream was the unique head, so yeah, this is pretty much Thundercracker. Am I gonna get this? Probably. Uh, I think I need a, a few more Decepticons for my Bumblebee movie collection. Uh, I think the Autobots have outnumbered the cast from the Bumblebee movie, if I remember correctly. I have to recount them again. So yeah, I'm probably going to get this guy, but I'm probably going to wait for a sale since Thrust was on sale too. So yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention these, these, these Voyagers won't have any window. So this will be part of the windowless packaging. You can touch them. So yeah, be warned. Order them online if you have to. If you don't want anybody touching your figures when you get them. So yeah. Oh, I yeah, just realized Studio Series 90. It's Galvatron. Hmm. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So yeah, this is it for this video. See you next video, guys. So like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, for Instagram, and everything. Down in the link in the description. So that's pretty much it. See you next video, guys.